singing praises to the Lord. Well, first of all, hi, everybody. Let me put that noisy guitar down. Singing praises to the Lord. Now, we always sing to the Lord and we give him praises and we give him thanks. But what if you can't sing? What if you don't have a, well, some people have really good, we all have good voices. Even if you don't think you do, we all do. Because God loves it when we sing praises to him. He loves it when we sing praises and we give thanks. So what if you can't, uh, what if you can't speak? Would playing a guitar be singing praises? Would, if you could play an instrument, isn't this singing to God too? Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, singing praises and giving thanks. That is today's little lesson today. Giving praises, singing praises and giving thanks. Now you remember last week what our lesson was? It was about friends and I had three little critters. Actually, I actually have a squirrel on my shirt. And last week, a squirrel was one of our critters in making friends. So I'm wearing a shirt today that has a squirrel on it. But let's talk about making or singing praises, I should say, and giving thanks. Now, also last week, I introduced this book that was given to us from, from a nice lady, Judith, that we meet at church on Wednesdays, Wednesday nights. So let's go to that book. Remember that book from last week? It was called Thanks for Thinking of Love. And then last week when we opened the book, the first one was on friends. Remember those friends? Well, let's talk about what is this week's? This week says, I have something to sing about. Dear God, I have something to sing about. It's always good to sing praises to God. God loves it when you sing to him, not just about him. He loves when you thank him for the help he gives you. Thank and praise him for all he has provided. God deserves our praises. After all, he is God. So, Let's have a biblical reference to that. We sing praises to God. God loves it. Now, he doesn't need to hear it. He doesn't need to hear our praises, but he loves it. But you know what? It's just polite, right? It's just polite to thank him because he provides everything for us. So he loves, God loves to hear our praises, not because he needs to, likes to hear it because it's the polite thing to do is to thank to thank God for all that he has done now we opened this video with showing two plants over here this plant here with the nice flower that's a Christmas cactus it blooms at Christmas time well this year it was a little bit late but we are always thankful to God when that cactus blooms isn't that such a pretty flower? And then we have this African violet. This African violet, see the big leaf here? That big leaf produced all these little guys. And we are extremely thankful, not just for God for creating that African violet, but we're also thankful for Susie and Asher, some friends from church that gave Lisa this African violet, that she grew another plant out of it. And we should be thankful, not just thankful to our friends, but thankful for God for all these cool things that he does for us. Like I said before, it's just polite. If someone gives you, oh, I don't know, they give you something to eat, or if your mom or your dad makes a meal, don't you thank them for it? Yes, you, of course you do, because it's just polite. So giving thanks to God is just the polite thing to do. So we're going to go to the Bible. Yes, you got to go to the Bible. Grab your Bibles. We're going to go to the book of Psalms. A couple weeks ago, we were in Psalms. So where is Psalms, everybody? Old Testament. Yes. 
It's between Proverbs and Job. Right there is Psalms. Middle of the Bible. Just open up the Bible. We're going to go to Psalm 92. So let's bring my Bible out. We're going to go song, Psalm 92, verse number 1. Yeah, we're not going to go too deep into it. We're going Psalm 92, verse number 1. And it says this. Now, I'm going to bring up my board. And for those of you that know the, I don't know, I'm going to say rule. If you see the word in blocked, we all say it together. So here's Psalm 92.1. Now we do have a couple of blocked words here. We all say it together. So here we go. It is good to give thanks. Everybody say that. Thanks to the Lord and to sing. Oh, I didn't hear you. Sing praises to, to your name, O Most High. So Psalm 92, 1 again says, it is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing, I heard you, praises to your name, O Most High. God doesn't need to hear our thanks, like I said before. He doesn't need it. But by us giving thanks, it does a few things for us inside. It guards our attitudes. And what I mean by that is, it guards our attitudes to have a thankful attitude. It guards our attitude that we're always thankful for what we have. So if your mom or your dad or your grandparents or anybody gives you something, it's just polite to give thanks. It's a good, thankful attitude. So a good, a good reason why you should give thanks to God, it helps with your attitude. And it also gives us a giving. It makes you a more giving person. So, of course, if you get something from your mom, your dad, or your grandparents, or somebody gives you something, you want to give back. So it guards with that attitude as well, to be more giving. And by singing praises and giving thanks to God, it helps in your spiritual life. It helps your physical health, too, because you feel better about yourself and your mental health, because you're giving thanks and you're being giving back and you're singing praises because it's the right thing to do. It's just the polite thing to do. Psalm 92, one, sing praises and give thanks to the Lord because he gives you stuff. Just like that Christmas cactus, we are so thankful when she blooms every year. It's only once a year, well, she's a little late, but we're still thankful. We're thankful for the African violet. Not only that God has provided more African violets, but also Susie and Asher that gave us that African violet. It helps our attitude of being thankful for what God provides for us. So it's good to sing praises and to give thanks. And even for those who can't sing with their mouths, you can always sing from an instrument. Now, we know that God loves to hear <clears throat> our vocal instruments, but he also likes to hear us praise him. And you do know that every song you hear starts with some kind of music. By the way, I just wrote this right before I did this lesson for you guys. This is my praise to God and to you for all listening. So thank you all for listening every week and coming on to this message. I give thanks to you all and praises as well. So remember, every time you get something, give thanks, it's just the right thing to do. Give praises for everything you do. Even if you can't sing, it's in your heart. So this week, read Psalm 92.1. Read it over a couple times. Think about it. It helps your attitude. It helps you in your walk. Not just your walk with the Lord, but your walk in this world. And as I put this guitar down, 
one thing I want to say is I'll see you next week. And the squirrel also thanks you for being here.